Hi there, Norman with iSaveTractors.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure the crankshaft rod journal on your Kohler K-Series engine. So, before we get to measuring, let's go over some of the numbers that we're going to need to look for when measuring our crankshaft journal. This right here is a page from the Kohler K-Service Manual. This is uh, an overview of all the specifications and measurements for your Kohler K-Series engine. This can be found at the beginning of your Kohler K-Service Manual. I've transferred the measurements and the numbers over to this sheet of paper. As you can see, this uh, the crankshaft we're working with today is a Kohler K321 14 horsepower engine. The do new dimensions of the crankshaft journal is between 1.5000 inches and 1.4995 inches with a max wear of 1.4990. So as we're taking our measurements, we want to keep this in mind. Now the max out of round, meaning the most egg shape this can be, is 0 .0005 and the max taper is 0 .001 inches. Now the tool we're going to be using to measuring our crankshaft today is a 1 to 2 inch micrometer and this is accurate to the 0 .0001 which is perfect because we're going to need those figures to determine our out of round. So we're going to be taking a total of four measurements today of our crankshaft rod journal. We're going to take it on two different axes that we're going to call X and Y and we're going to take two measurements on each of the axes. Now pretend this rod here is the rod journal that we're measuring. The X axis is going to be the measurement between my fingers right here and the Y axis is going to be the measurement between my fingers right here. We're going to take two measurements on each axis. We're going to take one at the front end of the rod journal and one at the rear end of the rod journal. These two measurements are going to help us determine taper and then the two measurements on the X and Y axis are going to help us determine the out of round. Now here's the engine that we're working with today. This is the Kohler 14 horsepower K321 engine. It's mounted in my engine stand and flipped upside down. I've already removed the piston, the connecting rod, as well as the head and the oil pan. Now this shiny part right here, this is what we're going to be measuring. This is the part that connects to the connecting rod that moves the connecting rod up and down. So the first measurement I'm going to take is in an up and down fashion that I'm going to call the x-axis. So it's going to be uh, in this fashion right here, right between my fingers. I'm going to take two measurements, one at this part of the journal and one at this part of the journal. I'm going to line up my calipers. I'm going to gently close them using the thimble. I'm also going to rotate the caliper back and forth slightly just to help me determine that I am perfectly flat and against the rod journal. It takes a little bit of practice to get just the right feel to make sure that I'm nice and flush, but you'll get it. When I get there, I just want to lock the caliper, I mean uh, the micrometer in place, and then I'm going to gently remove it from the rod, and we'll go read our measurement. So our first measurement here, it's going to be hard for you to see on the camera, but it reads 1.4998. So we're going to take that first measurement, we're going to record it onto our piece of paper as first measurement on the x-axis as 1.4998. Let's go back and measure the second measurement on the same axis. Now the second measurement is going to go right on this part of the crankshaft. That's going to be our second measurement on the x-axis. There's our second measurement. Let's take it back to the bench and see what it says. So the measurement on our second measurement on the x-axis reads 1.4999. So 1.4999. Now let's take the other two measurements in the y-axis. Now to get the measurements on the y-axis, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the crankshaft so it's on its side like that. And now I'm going to put the caliper, um, I keep calling this a caliper, I'm going to put the micrometer in this way and get again the me two measurements, one on this side of the journal and then one on this side of the journal. So our first measurement on the y-axis reads 
So go get our last and final measurement. Okay, now that we have our four measurements, let's do some math to determine our out of round and taper size. Now, to determine the out of round, we're going to take the difference between the x and the y measurements. And to determine the taper, we're going to take the difference between measurement 1 and 2 on each axis. So let's start with the out of round. We're going to take the difference between 1.4998 minus 1.4996. And that gives us a number of 0 .0002 inches. We'll do it again on measurement 2. So the difference between y and x will be 1.4999 minus 1.4995. And that gives us a number of 0 .0004 inches. So that is our out of round. And now our max out of round measurement is 0 .0005. So as you can see, on both these numbers right here, uh, the difference is within specification. Now let's go with the taper. The taper will be the distance between, or the difference I should say, the difference between measurement 2 and 1. So we have 1.4999 minus 1.4998. That gives us a number of 0 .0001 inches. We'll do it again over on this side, on the y-axis. It's 1.4996 minus 1.4995, which gives us, again, 0 .0001 inches. Now, our max taper is 0 .001. So as you can see, our measurements are still within specifications. These have three zeros, so it's 0 .0001, and that is much smaller than 0 .001. So in the case of this crankshaft for this Kohler K321 engine, both the out of round and the taper are within specifications. Now if any of our uh, numbers here were greater than the numbers here that Kohler specifies as the maximum dimensions, we would have to take our crankshaft to a machine shop and have them grind it to the next undersize and then we would need to use the appropriate undersize connecting rod. But in this case, this connecting rod uh, journal on this crankshaft does not need machining and it's good to reuse as it is. Stay tuned. In our next video, I'm going to show you how to measure the connecting rod to determine if you need to replace this or if you can reuse the old one. And that's how you measure the connecting rod journal on your crankshaft for your Kohler K-Series engine. I hope you found this video helpful for you in determining if you can reuse your crankshaft or if you need to take it to a machine shop for resizing. If you do need to purchase new parts for your Kohler K-Series engine, please check out my website online, isavetractors.com. We sell lots of aftermarket high-quality parts for your Kohler K-Series engine, as well as other vintage small engines. Once again, my name is Norman. Thanks for watching.